Hello everybody, Vustan here, hope you guys are doing well, having a great day or a great night. And before moving on, don't forget to smash the like button, share with your friends and subscribe as well. Remember, we support each other and we grow together. So let's start. This is going to be a different video. Uh, I'm not going to talk about charts, you know, or technical analysis. But we are going to take a look on very interesting things here that I want to show you. So let's start from the beginning, right? So coin market cap. Uh, as you guys know, not long ago, Binance bought coin market cap. Uh, and you guys know who is behind Binance. Okay, so for example, we have Binance, Bitfinex, Huobi, and OKX, which all of them are controlled by Chinese folks. This being said, what else we have here? Bitcoin controlled by Chinese folks, Ethereum as well, Binance coin as well, Dogecoin as well. Uh, some of you may be, uh, it, it is not aware, but uh, a single guy is the, the, the biggest whale on Dogecoin. And this single guy is moving the market since day one. Uh, some unknown facts for mo majority of people. Moving on, what else? Tether, controlled by Chinese Fox. Cardano as well. Bit I I'm not aware of Polka, but Bitcoin Cash is, uh, Litecoin is, and so. Uh, so it's it's very very interesting uh, the behavior, right? Because we know. Uh, which thing is owned by who and etc. So let's take a quick look here on XRP. So not not a few days ago, people were talking, oh, XRP supply decreased by like uh, 11, almost 11 billion coins. So a quick look here. So this market cap, the, the display, the number here, it's $53 billion, right? And now you guys will have a, a, a better idea why I don't trust, why I don't use coin market cap for anything. And this is not only me, okay? A lot of other folks also don't rely on this info here. So, um, uh, let's go. So again, remember, $53 billion, okay? And uh, if you look here, they they say this data is verified so again coin market cap it's not the source right yeah it's look like, it's like uh the 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 real data is me heard by then so let's see if this is correct so here we have ripple.com and xrp metrics so this is the source right so market capitalization a hundred and 53 billion dollars in the last 30 days it's 143 billion dollars uh so let's take a look again at 153 billion dollars xrp would be in the third spot like she was before and fox this is well known there is no secrets here People who are just arriving in the market, people who have no idea about fundamentals, technical analysis, which is not their fault, right? They rely on the coin market cap to buy or sell. It is what it is. Okay, so that, that these are the facts. So why XRP, it's only showing one third, 53, instead of 153, which will change the things here. And not only this, let's take a look here. Oh, total XRP distributed 46 billion coins. Let's take a look here. 35, 108 uh, million coins. So there is a delay on this data, as you guys can see here, as of April 25. So if we are going to have a change here to 35 we should have the same number here 46 few it changes because 
coin market cap is not the source the data is mirrored here which means they are copying the data from the source so this is wrong this is not accurate and uh, i believe they are doing this for a specific reason so xrp was having a surging price a surging interest and uh, a lot of people were buying xrp right so decreasing xrp on the rank they uh they can make other things look better right so uh let's take a look on another thing so let's take a, a jump here into bitcoin there is another thing that is not accurate that I want to show you and I will explain. So here they, they say, so max supply, this is correct. The total supply, it is correct, yes. Circulating supply, it's the same number as total supply. So this is wrong, this is not accurate, not even close, and why? First thing. We, uh, which means circulating circulating means there is it's exposed in the market in any way okay so how this why this is wrong well because here they are saying that the bitcoins in dormant wallets are circulating they are not exposed in the market they are also saying that the satoshi wallet is exposed in the market which is not true and there is 1 million coins in that wallet not accurate and we also have all the missing coins which we, that there is a discussion about this and some people say that it's possibly around 500,000 and 1 million coins lost over time so how they can say all those coins are circulating when we know they are not something is wrong right and now let's take a look on the XRP. So here it is, uh, 35 billion coins in circulation. So uh, if we just saw the numbers are wrong, so where these numbers are, are coming from? Did by any, any reason someone took out of the market uh, 10 billion coins? I don't think so. And the most interesting thing here, the most interesting thing, the circulating number of coins. Okay, so this is a different opinion. So this is my opinion. Uh, the total number and the circulating number are irrelevant. Okay, and why? Because the coins who are not in, uh, in circulation, they have the same price, as the ones in circulation so just a different example here so let's say uh, we can measure and take a look on all the amazon shares in the market so let's say just for this example a uh, hundred thousand shares but we know each month jeff bezos sells a lot of shares so those shares are not exposed in the market but they have the same value as the ones exposed so basically what the uh, coin market cap do here they are going to to take a look on the the total market cap uh multiplied by the circulating supply so folks this is wrong and why again because all those coins that are not in circulation they have the same value right so it is what it is we can't only measure and take a look and price things that are exposed so for example it's the same as saying that uh, satoshi nakamoto one million coins wallet doesn't have any value just because it's not circulating this is wrong right those coins are there they have the same value as the, the ones exposed but they are not exposed so all this thing here it's broken okay it's not accurate uh the way they 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 measure the thing it's broken and in my opinion they are doing this to like uh, uh you know it's uh what, what is the word is uh to don't make things xrp attractive you know 
So just another example. Uh, back in the day, last uh, 2017, when the Bitcoin started to surge, a lot of Bitcoins started to pop. So Bitcoin Diamond, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin God, Bitcoin Segwit, a lot of Bitcoins. And we knew most of them were going to die. And most of them died. But now we have a surge on Dogecoin. Shiba Inu, Shiba, whatever. Because they are following a demand. The dumb money demand. But soon all of them are going to perish. We know this by a matter of fact. And I bet my shoes the numbers here are wrong as well. I bet my shoes. And I doubt. I doubt the, the number here for Dogecoin is accurate. Okay. But again, most people will blindly trust the numbers. They won't do their research. And this is it. They will think it's a big deal. You know? So if you guys take a look since 2014, the, the top 10 is always changing. You know, there is a lot of change. And most of the coins, most, that were uh, placed in the top 10 died. Most of them. You know? So we had the moon coins and the many other coins and the hype coins. You know? And they all died. Literally died. They just vanished. Coins without real utility, without, you know, anything, without... Uh, a decent project, they all died. So it's just to scan people. That's the idea, that's the plan. To scan people, get their money, and then they are going to crash the whole thing. Uh, and uh, there is also another thing here, very important. People who took a big loss in 2018 and hold it, some of them were able to break even, and some of them were able to make profits. But the next one, Almost all those people are going to end up uh, losing everything. And why? Because regulations are coming. They are at the door. And almost all those tokens and coins are going to perish uh, forever. So there will be no recover. There will be no catch up. You know, no break even. That's it. And then people will they just lose everything. But when we talk about those things, people don't like to hear it. That's not what they want. So they don't like it. The, what they want to hear. Oh, it's going to moon. Oh, it's going to 1000x. Yeah, this is it. Buy, hold. That's the way you're going to become a millionaire till the thing breaks. Okay. So uh, uh, just a second. There is something else here. What, what is it? So again, folks. Why do we have those numbers here? But they are not here. Something is wrong, right? And uh, one of the reasons we say the, the, the market capper's theory, it's not accurate. And I'm going to show you why with two examples. So this peak here is XRP on top, $3.31. So let's take a look on the... Uh, market capitalization, I believe is no, it is not this one, just a second. Oh, market cap right here. Let's take a closer look, shall we? A hundred and forty two billion dollars market capitalization. Again, it doesn't mean how many coins we have in circulation because all of the coins have the same price right so this is the effect this is the rule and today so and this was at three dollars and 31 cents right so now let's take a look on, on today what we have We had a peak. Uh, it seems wrong again. 31. Why 31? Showing 23. So let's use the, the number that we saw there. Uh, $53 billion. Let's see. Okay, so market cap. $53 billion. I don't know why it's not 
Oh, okay, okay, just a second. Oh, here it is. Yes. So right here, fifty-four billion dollars. So it's one third of what we had back in the day. So uh, right now, XRP is trading around the one fifty-three cents. So it would be fair to say that if XRP was at the triple, the 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 price would be at a triple as well. So if this was true. The XRP price right now should be at $4.59, right? Take a look here, $152 billion. But if we look on the previous one, it doesn't match as well. Why? Because back in the day, we had what? Uh, just a second, not you. Here, $142 billion. So guys, this whole market cap theory is bullshit. It's not that great. The thing is completely broken. The idea doesn't make any sense. If we use the numbers from the left to the right and from the right to the left, they will never match. And this is the problem because if the thing were, uh, were real, we would have a, uh, some kind of accuracy, right? But that's not what happens. And so this is a big problem, in my opinion. Do you guys remember back in the day? Oh, uh, and by the way, the, the, the network fee, it's increasing big time. So yesterday it was in the four uh, digits here. Today it's 13 cents and it's still the most cheap in the market. So this is interesting as well. So I think that the market cappers couldn't. Oh, here it is again. Couldn't explain back in the day. XLM. So they decided to burn 50% of the coins. Total number of coins. Did the price went up 100%? No. What happened? Price collapsed right after. So that's kind of a question they can't answer. And uh, it's, it's just mind-blowing, you know. So how... Can they, 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 they talk nonsense all the time, you know, doesn't make any sense uh, the things they look at and they say, oh, I understand this, I understand that, but they can uh, make the, the numbers work, you know. And uh, another thing here that I also mentioned, so XRP max supply, that's 100 billion coins. Uh, the total supply today is decreasing. And why it's decreasing? Because after every transaction, the fee is burned in the process. And the fee is paid in XRP. This doesn't happen with any, any other project out there as far as I know. So we can take a look here on Bitcoin. Take a look. It's always increasing to the 21 million coins. So Bitcoin is not deflationary. Actually, Bitcoin is inflationary. Uh, if we look on Ethereum, just a second. Take a look here. Max supply. This there is no number here. Why? Because new coins can be minted. Yes, new coins can. And uh, they so they also don't understand this. So how can they calculate the whole thing? Base it in a number that is equals x. And X, uh, it's, it's just new coins uh, created. But there is another interesting thing here. Uh, a few years ago, the total supply for Ethereum was above 160 million coins. Way above. And it decreased. Did they just burn it? A lot of coins. And now they are creating... Uh, coins again because it's up 1000 coins since a few days ago i don't think so but it is possible i don't know you know i'm not a developer but uh uh so the the number sh should should have a different measure here when we look at the coins price number etc so that's another reason their theory doesn't work if we take a look here just a second, let's close this one as well. 
uh, for example, Dogecoin. Take a look here. Max supply. They can also mint new coins, and it seems there is no limit. You know, so they keep printing coins, printing coins, new coins, new coins, and price keeps going up, keeps going up, instead of going down. You know, because, folks, um, this is in the billions house, you know, and uh, most people out there are buying a few thousands of coins. And price is not being driven by the average Joe. We know this. The average uh, Joe can't make the, the magic happen. And uh, that's interesting. Oh, just, just a second, please. Okay. Uh, another thing that uh, one of our friends highlighted, and by the way, thanks for the research. Uh, back in the day, they were saying, whoa, Dogecoin will never reach 5 cents, never reach 10 cents, never 15 because of the market cap bullshit. And now they, are, they doesn't even talk about this anymore because they lost control. They can make the, 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 the numbers match. So, uh, again, folks. So, just a second. Okay. So... Coin market cap is owned by Chinese folks. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Doge, Tether, Cardano, a Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and many, many others. And uh, we understand that they don't control, and they don't don't like at all XRP. You know, uh, so XRP wasn't benefited by Tether. We know this by a matter of fact as well. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember back in 2017 when market cap excluded data from South Korea and Japan exchanges. And then the quote, market cap decreased in volume as well, decreased big time. So I don't trust this info. I don't watch this. In my humble opinion, this is a whole mess, you know. And uh, I really don't trust this data. I don't use this for anything. Never. If I want, if I need to have a better idea of what's going on, the source is the place to be. And the source is right here. Ripple.com XRP market performance. If the source is telling me the mark, total market capitalization is 152 billions, why I'm going to trust the Chinese folks? And also take a look here. Market cap equals current price X circulating supply. Folks, this is bullshit. All the coins are there. So all XRP coins are there. All of them were pre-minded back in the day. They all exist. You know, they all have the same price not all the only ones who are circulating in my humble opinion they created this bullshit to justify their mess that's it and as you guys can see here take a look at this verify the data so the coin market cap team has verified the project's circulating supply to be as follows 3508 and here is the verified source, the very source, which tells us we have 46 billion coins distributed or in circulation. By a matter of fact, we know the ones owned by Ripple, Ripple itself, and the ones uh, in the escrow are not in circulation, but they have the same value. And how we know that? The pragmatic cells back in the day had value all those coins who were not in circulation had value and they're being sold for a amount of price so this is my two cents folks this circulating supply stuff it's total bullshit okay so doesn't matter if we could have one xrp in circulation circulation all of the coins will have the same value so for example just for the sake of this example let's say i have 
this is just one example just a second folks let me see what is going on here hold on hold on hold on okay uh so let's say i own uh 74 uh 97 billion coins and then we have the other coins in the market so my coins are in a day scroll just for a second as an example and let's say tomorrow uh my screw will open and i'm going to sell all those coins so what is going to happen all my coins that i'm going to sell to sell won't be accounted here you know and all those coins have the same value as the ones in circulation so folks this is bullshit okay this doesn't make any sense this is not accurate we can see the numbers are wrong doesn't make any sense at all and so if xrp metrics are the source and coin market cap is mirroring the numbers how they can be wrong alias uh, uh, sorry <laughs> how they can be right does make any sense right so uh this is my two cents about this uh, you guys can check for yourself you can do the math back and forth uh so for example let me give you just one more example uh my long-term investment it's not in circulation right but all those uh, all those coins have value they are you know they, they they hold real value so if i decide to sell today they are not going to be accounted in the circulating supply it may be after but not before and they have the same value so again from a to z and z to a this is nonsense okay i don't trust any of these numbers and uh, i will never do okay and uh, but again this is my two cents and uh yeah so i believe this was everything that i want to share with you guys I don't think there is anything else. So there, it has been a long, long time that I don't take a look here. And uh, a lot of things changed. Uh, and also, by the way, another thing. Binance currency. Back in the day, we had USDC. So we had Tether, Pipex, True USD. Fox. They can provide... Uh, or can in a poor way uh, liquidity for all those pairs and all those pairs they're just a mirror a cop copycat from uh, the top ones so it doesn't make any sense so why they keep creating new fiat pairs it seems to me uh they are expecting something bad to happen so for example tether because tether soon is going to be uh audit uh again you know so uh soon very soon we are going to have a straight dollar pair a straight euro pair uh because this is a complete mess you know and uh also another thing let me show you something else here uh i believe it's market okay so who is the leading ones china and china which pair tether and tether now let's take a look on ethereum China, Tether, China, Tether. Let's take a look on Binance Coin. China, Tether. China, New Currency. And China. Uh, so all those, those assets are controlled by then. Dogecoin, take a look. Oh, 
China, China, better, better. I don't know if there is, so let's see. Oh ho! China, 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 and it goes on and on and on and on. And there are many others that we can see here. Let's take a look on Cardano. China, better. Then we had Coinbase on uh, US dollars with little volume. Doesn't even compare. Let's take a look on XRP. And here, I bet my shoes we are going to find something different. So, China, China, Korea. Here we have USDT and USDT. And uh, uh, so we, we will, are not going to find more numbers here. But so, if uh, th this is interesting, when we are we're talking about USDT tethers, we have a different number for the market capitalization. But when it comes down to the dollar itself, because if you guys remember on Ripple Metrics, it's 143 or 50 billion US dollars and not tethers. Can you guys see the, the whole difference of things here? It's totally different. It's not the same thing, folks. It is not the same. China, tether, China, tether. Oh, Bitcoin Cash. Guess. Just a guess. Guess what? And guess who is the biggest whale on Bitcoin Cash? <laughs> it's, the f it's, it's a guy. It's like a, uh, a group of people that owns the machines, the manufacturing process, the largest pool, the largest farm, and uh, they hold a, a big big amount of coins from EOS, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Doge, so Fox. When people say, oh, you know, it's decentralized, it is not. It's in the, the hand of a very small group of people. And now those people are tied with China. So here, better. Better China, China. Let's take a look on Link. China, China. Tether, tether. And it goes on and on and on and on. So, folks, uh, this is just a uh, heads up on this. And um, again, just my, my two cents on why I don't trust, why I don't like, why I don't use it. And uh, also, just one more thing here. Is this interesting? Why we have options to buy here for Ethereum? Bitcoin, owned by China. Ethereum, owned by China. Binance Coin, owned by China. Tether, owned by China. And we don't have one for XRP. Or even Cardano. Is, it is interesting. They can say, oh, you know, but we have the trial fan and the, the security stuff. Bullshit. Because it is only happening in the United States. I can buy XRP at any time. Buy and sell. Never stop it. So, uh, many, many reasons. Many, many scenarios. And uh, a lot of things to consider here. And yeah, so uh, that's my two cents. Uh, you guys can, can check your numbers. You guys can dive into data and uh, look for yourself, right? You can make sense about this. Uh, and yeah, so guys, this is it for now. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your support as well. Don't forget to smash the like button. And uh, so far on XRP, nothing changed, nothing special. If something changes, 
I will make a update. But uh, so far, uh, it's not a big deal. So not necessary for now. Okay. So uh, thanks again. And I will see you guys soon. See ya.